Hello everyone. I know I've been saying that I would show a video of our new greenhouse, but we've just been so crazy busy getting everything planted in the garden. Late last week we had quite a bit of cold weather, a uh, good three or four days where it was below zero at night. So we hadn't quite finished this greenhouse. Um, the framing was done and the windows and doors were in, but we still had to seal it up because with, uh, we still had a lot of corners and whatnot that we wanted to seal with expanding foam and insulate it real well. But we weren't able to get out to get that just yet. So we had to make a mad dash and seal up all the cracks there with some plastic bags and whatnot, which work really well temporarily. Um, we managed to pull it through and not lose anything in here. So these are the Wisconsin pickling cucumbers that I just started, I think it was last week. They're up and they're doing really well. These are going to be transplanted out into the garden maybe this weekend if, they're, if they've got their true leaves and are getting a little bit big enough. And each one of these pots, each one of these pots, I'll use to make one hill. These are the, um, oh, how do you pronounce that? It's that vi that vining zucchini, um, trombicino or zucchinio, or I've seen it under so many different names, but um, I've w always wanted to grow this one, and we started to one year, but we got it in really late, and we had really early, early frost, so we didn't get anything from it. Um, I've started it, I've started two flats of it this time. We're going to be putting this up on the hill garden, so it could just sprawl all at once. And I'm really excited t about these, because they're the first, I think they look really cool, the way that they grow and spiral around. But, because all the seeds are on the end, Almost the entire zucchini is usable, which is great because we use a lot of zucchini. And I like the fact that when they get larger, they're still usable and they don't get, supposedly don't get tough. Over here, this is our green zucchini. It came up just a couple days ago and it's growing pretty quick. And there's another tray of green zucchini. I've got the yellow gold rush zucchini in the other greenhouse that I planted a few weeks before this. And it's up and it's full of leaves and whatnot. It'll be going up later today. On the bottom here are the herbs that are still waiting for me to get planted. And another tray of the market more cucumbers over here. These are some little trays that um, hubby made. We were running out of the black trays and we had been using these big steel trays. Um, these ones here. But I find that they're just too awkward to move around. They're fine in the greenhouse but when you try to carry them outside or whatnot they're just too big and awkward. So he tried building some of these out of rabbit wire and I just love them. They're strong and sturdy. They don't you know, fall all over the place the way the black trays do. So we're going to be building a bunch of these this winter to use for next year. And then there's the mortgage lifter tomatoes, which are doing really well. And then there's lemon boy over here, which is growing really slow. And then the next one over, um, I believe that was the Elizabeth Romus. I moved them over to this greenhouse so they could get some more light. This tray over here is the little bachelor buttons my girls got me for Mother's Day and they planted those and they're coming up nice and quick. I'm looking forward to having those out in the flower garden. Over on this side of the top, the Heinz tomatoes that I planted last week are starting to come up. Put in two flats of those. And these are the Hungarian wax peppers. Uh, this seed was started really late because our seed was back ordered and it's not up yet. So I might pick up some more peppers at the uh, local nurseries just in case so that we'll have some hot banana peppers to pickle. Uh, this is a flat of ground cherries. Uh, it's not up yet, it was just planted last week as well. And this is the Chicago Pickling Cucumbers. They're doing really nicely. I'm happy with how well they're coming up. And over here is the King of the North. Uh, it's a um, sweet bell pepper that's supposed to do really well in northern areas.
and I don't see it coming up yet but a little there is a little bit of lettuce over on the other side well that's about it for this greenhouse right now um, we've been pretty happy with it it's actually warmer than the other greenhouse is I really like some of the old windows we got they have these um, sliders that open on them I guess to allow breeze through your house these windows are really old they came out of an old farmhouse probably at least 20 years ago and they were sitting in a friend's barn for a long time so we got tons of them for free all different sizes some like that and then you know ones that uh, have a screen on them that can open the old storm windows and then we had a couple of the sliding glass doors which we use for the roof and it works really well. This gets really hot and we find that it holds the temperature reasonably well with an electric heater at night. We're hoping to use these really early in the season next year so we're going to be experimenting with different types of heaters and see what we can come up with because we'd really like to start using this more in February and March um, to get our stuff in earlier. Okay, take care everyone.